Hi everyone, Miss Tui here. This time of year, we are surrounded by sights, sounds, and smells of the holidays. People celebrate this time of year in many different ways. One of the things we all have in common though, is that everyone recognizes symbols associated with how they celebrate. Today, you will be learning about and drawing symbols associated with the celebration of Kwanzaa, which began in 1966 in Los Angeles, California. The purpose of the celebration is to unify and strengthen Black people in families and in communities. For today's lesson, you will need an Ozobot, fully charged and calibrated, colored pencils, crayons, or markers, a pencil, you're decorating the Kwanzaa Unity Cup activity sheets. Make sure to have all three pages and a goblet style cup. After today's lesson, you will be able to identify the symbols of Kwanzaa. To help you make connections about symbols, let's start with symbols you are already familiar with. Then I will teach you about symbols specific to Kwanzaa. Let's get started. First of all, what is a symbol? A symbol is a mark, character, drawing, or object that represents something else. For example, the letter A is a symbol. It represents the sound of A as in skate and A as in cat, and also A as in paw. The words skate, cat, and paw are also symbols for objects. A few other common symbols that you might be familiar with are the dollar sign. It indicates price or money. A red circle with a line through the middle indicates that something is not allowed. A triangular sign next to the road instructs people to yield to oncoming traffic. Can you look around the room where you are and find two or three symbols? Now it is time to learn about the seven symbols of Kwanzaa. Please take out your decorating the Kwanzaa Unity Cup symbol sheet, a pencil, and something to color with, either crayons, markers, or colored pencils. The first box says Mazao, or the crops. This symbol represents the rewards of labor or the fruits of harvest. Can you draw a picture in the box of what you think of when you think about harvesting food or working hard? The next box to the right says Makika or the mat. The mat represents the foundation of traditions. It is usually a woven mat made of colors green, red, and black. It can include different designs in the weave of the mat. Can you draw a picture of what you think of when you imagine a woven mat in the colors of red, green, and black? The last box in the first row says Kanara or candle holder. The Kanara represents ancestors or those who came before us, like grandparents, great grandparents, or great great grandparents. Ancestors laid a foundation for who you are and what you have today. The Kanara holds seven candles. Can you draw a picture of what you think of when you visualize a candle holder that holds seven candles? Next, look for the box on the left that says Mishuma Saba, or the seven candles. Each candle represents one of the seven basic principles people are urged to live by. These principles are unity, self-determination, collective work and responsibility, cooperative economics, 
purpose, creativity, and faith. Can you draw a picture of the seven candles, three green, three red, and one black? Find the box that says Zawadi, or the gifts. The gifts which are usually given on the last evening of Kwanzaa represent the commitment of the parents to the children and the children to the parents. Often a book is given to represent the importance of education and remembering heritage. Can you draw a picture of what you think of when you imagine gifts or books? The Unity Cup or Kikome Cha Umoja reinforces unity in the family and the community. During the seven days of Kwanzaa, each family member drinks from this cup and remembers the things that bring them together. The cup is usually a goblet style drinking cup. Can you draw what you think of when you visualize a special cup that represents unity? The last symbol you will draw is the muhindi, or the corn. The ears of corn represent the children in the family and hope for the future. Can you draw what you think of when you think ears of corn? You may want to draw the number of ears of corn to match the number of children in your family. Now that you have the picture representations for all of the symbols, it is time to get out your Ozobot, the activity sheet, and your Kwanzaa random chooser. On the activity sheet, you'll notice a large rectangular box. Your Ozobot and the random chooser will choose the symbols you can use to create a pattern in the box on the activity sheet. Begin by placing your Ozobot on start in the middle of the chooser. Remember that the Ozobot will turn randomly at intersections, so we don't know where it will go. When your Ozobot stops at the name of one of the symbols, use the picture you drew in the symbols page to create a pattern in the box on the activity sheet. Here's an example. I placed my Ozobot on the random chooser at start and it landed on the crops. I will use my drawing from the symbols page to create a pattern, like a border along the top of my rectangle. When I'm finished with my first pattern, I will put my Ozobot back on start, facing a different direction. I'll use my drawing for the next chosen symbol to create another pattern in the rectangle. Can you create a pattern using the drawing for the symbol your Ozobot lands on? Continue having your Ozobot choose symbols until you have filled the box on your activity sheet with drawings. Once you have completed your pattern, Cut it out and wrap it around a goblet style cup as decoration. Can you cut out your illustrations and decorate your Unity Cup? That was a lot of work. Well done. Please be sure you have finished everything. Do you have a drawing for each of the Kwanzaa symbols? Did you complete the Unity Cup activity sheet? Can you identify the symbols of Kwanzaa? Come back again soon for our next lesson.